Strap in for a series of low-altitude ingress runs in a speedy North American FJ-4B Fury jet. The Fury pulls up into a half loop and then rolls out in an Immelmann maneuver, reversing course. This was a classic LABS low-altitude bombing system delivery method intended to separate the aircraft from its target as far as possible. Records with this film in the archives say it was made in 1959. Under the left wing of the FJ-4s in this footage is a large blue inert bomb shape that looks like a Mark 7 nuclear bomb with angled tail fins. The footage does not permit a close examination of the other wing where something smaller is mounted. The filmed passes do not show any weapon separations of the large blue Mark 7s. We're left to wonder if hot runs with Mark 7 drops were not publicly released by the Navy. In the last half of the film, the tracking camera occasionally pans to record a white puff of smoke not far from a craggy and scarred concrete block structure serving as a target in the desert. Is that puff of white smoke from the impact of a blue dummy Mark 7 or maybe from a much smaller practice bomb that may be riding under the right wing? We can only guess. Against the blue sky, the release of a small practice bomb may go unnoticed. The North American Aviation FJ-4B Fury was the last production variant of the Fury series for the Navy and Marine Corps. With obvious ancestry in the North American F-86, the FJ-4 was its own design, with a spine running after the cockpit and many other deviations from the F-86. First flight of the FJ-4B was December 4, 1956. Production was completed in May 1958, and some FJ-4Bs, redesignated as AF-1Es in 1962, served well into that decade. The FJ-4B, armed with Sidewinder missiles and 20mm cannons, could be a credible fighter after releasing its bomb load. Thank you. 
I'm Fred Johnson for Air Rail Images. Thanks for watching this Cold War classic film on the Air Rail Images channel. We hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Here's a flying civilian owned Warbird FJ 4B Fury at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh in July 2019. Thank you.